Thoma Ekuruleni Mayor Mzwandile Masina has resigned as councillor in the metro just before a disciplinary hearing against him. That's after he allegedly defied the provincial ANC leadership last month. Well, despite negotiations between the ANC and EFF, the DA's Tanya Campbell was reinstated as mayor of Ekuruleni after the talks between the ANC and the EFF failed. Let's get you more on the story. Bring in our reporter, Bilani Pakhadi, to tell us what we know so far, Bilani. Definitely what we know so far, you do know that just about a week or two ago that was the PWC, the Provincial Working Committee of the African National Congress, was mandated to deal with the issue of the, the DC hearing as far as Mzonila Masino is concerned and of course there was a lot of discrepancies as far as the PWC and the PEC was concerned and they felt that they, they needed not only to ensure that there was accountability as far as you know, the ANC in Ikurleni and its councillors uh, is concerned, but to ensure that they are able to bring up our so the, 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 the so-called uh, democratic centralism, when a higher decision, when a higher structure has made a decision, the lower structures need to abide by them. But to talk about that resignation, of course, of uh, Mzodile Masina as councillor in the council of uh, the city of Ikurulene. Let me bring in the provincial chairperson of, of the ANC, and that is Banyaza Lisufi. I've just seen a statement when we're here, actually, to talk about the PWC outcome, and I've seen uh, that you also released a statement saying that the, uh, uh, Mzodile Masina, the Ikurulene chairperson, has resigned as a Councillor, uh, perhaps take us through the PwC, the engagements with Mzanila Masina. Thank you so much, and thanks for the opportunity, uh, PP. Uh, I think you're interviewing me for the first time. I want to wish you good luck in your new family arrangement. Uh, truly appreciate that. Thank you. Well, uh, we, you, you'll recall that we held a press conference where you indicated that the PC resolved that uh, we must attend to the matter of Ekurulen urgently. Uh, we did that. A delegation was dispatched to meet with the regional chairperson of the ANC in Ekurulen. Uh, on the basis of those discussions, uh, we reached a resolution that we presented to the PwC on Monday, and the PwC adopted that resolution, uh, where Mzwandile Masina has uh, publicly acknowledged that uh, there were limitations in which, in, in the manner the, the issues were, were handled, and therefore he apologized uh, unconditionally. And uh, he went further to say he, he feels that they've reached uh, a ceiling and they've worked very hard to train new leaders and those new leaders are ready to take over the new leadership in the municipality and therefore uh, by the end of next month uh, he will resign as a leader of caucus uh, and also as a leader of the ANC in that municipality. We accepted that and the PwC accepted that and uh, we hereby wish him well. We know he's contesting to be the TG of the ANC. He's also contesting to be in the NEC and therefore we extend our well wishes to him but we have accepted his resignation that now, does that open and continue to talk about the, the, the issues around Ikurulene now being in the hands of the economic freedom fighters? Does it, does it open up the ANC and the discussions of the EFF? You had that the, the, the leader of the EFF said that without Ikurulene, the EFF being at the, at the helm there, then uh, Tswane Joburg, the ANC should forget? Well, this was an in-house ANC matter. Uh, it was not influenced by any activity or any other political parties. It was just purely an in-house a political matter. Now that uh, uh, these dynamics have uh, developed the way they've developed, uh, the ANC will then proceed with the discussions with other political parties. Uh, we've not started that. We are quite aware that uh, Johannesburg is meeting today. Uh, I'm rushing there actually from here uh, to check with our caucus there and to check uh, the discussions with other political parties. And then uh, we'll be guided by our coalition partners in that municipality. But this was purely and mainly an in-house matter. Uh, Talking about Johannesburg Council, have you discussed with the EFF and the voting out of uh, Mayor Mpopalat? We have not stopped discussions uh, with the EFF and other coalition partners. Uh, you might be aware in Johannesburg and on all motions and other uh, uh, matters in Johannesburg, including yesterday uh, when they were discussing the need for, for an extra loan. Uh, all coalition partners work together and cooperate here together. So the discussions are not over and we'll continue with those discussions when we arrive at the municipality just now. According to the ANC today, is that the last day of Mpopalat? Well, we are guided by our coalition partners to be quite frank. We don't want to be a superhero, super uh, organization. Uh, coalition partners' voice are important. So we are going there. They just had a caucus. I'm told they broke for caucus and they've requested that we compare notes and I'm going there to check whether the notes that we're going to compare, what is the outcome. Uh, but whatever outcome and whatever guidance our coalition partners give us, we'll accept it. Oh, I'm also told that the, the leader of the EFF has cancelled his uh, um, uh, trip to the DG Sambonis family. Is that perhaps uh, an engagement? 
<laughs> that is the chairperson of the African National Congress here in, uh, in, in Gauteng, and of course, Banyazali Suki, just giving us an indication that as far as they are concerned, they're going to be co- continuing to talk with the economic freedom fighters and other coalition partners within the city of Johannesburg. You do know that currently there is that particular co- uh, caucus sitting, and uh, the aim is really just to try and vote out Mayor Mpopalat. But as far as Ikulin is concerned, there is that resignation of the leader of the caucus of Ikulin, the former mayor there. Uh, uh, that is some Zadila Masina and the ANC wishing him well with his uh, uh, you know, ambitions to become the Treasurer General of the ANC and as well as an NEC member if that does not come to pass. Thank you very much for that update.